What's going on, everybody? DT Fang back again with another episode of American Truck Simulator. Yep, we're at it again, and we're going to be doing some hot shot trucking. We're going to be taking a load from Casper, Wyoming. Not sure exactly where we're going yet, but uh, we'll check in here with Jake. Uh, I'm going to be in the blue Ram uh, pickup truck, and Jake's going to be in the black Ram pickup. These are the John Ruta pickups, and we've got the John Ruta trailers and the Z-Mods engines in with them as well. So let's get to it. All right, Fang, I suppose about 10.33, I more or less just woke up, got my coffee. I'm ready to roll. What about you? I'm ready. I'm ready, though. After last time, I don't know, man. Um, you know, we, we, <laughs> we didn't. Our, our first hot shot trucking uh, adventure was not the greatest. Well, you know, I'm, I'm willing to put that aside, and we're, we're moving forward because we got these brand new John Ruta pickup trucks. These Ram trucks are RVM is what they're actually branded. Um yeah, uh, I really like these things that we've used. I've, I've used them for one quick little run, and Fang, I think this is going to be your first run in it. It will be my first run in it, so we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, so far, driving over here, I do like the um, just the way it handles. Handles yep. very good. All right, here I come. Sorry. I had to remember this has got one of those push-button deals and not an actual key. Yep. Took me yep. a minute to get her started. And... Uh, not only does this thing run well, like one of, one of my favorite things about how it handles is it doesn't handle like most uh, small vehicles in this game. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. This one actually has some some roll to it. You can feel it roll, whereas the yeah. other ones seem like they don't have any body roll to them. This one, I haven't adjusted a thing. It just feels right. Right. I agree with that, definitely, because all I did was hop in and just made sure I had it on automatic transmission, and we went from there. And everything's yep. feeling really good. The brakes feel good. Acceleration yep. feels good. It's not awkward. And, of course, we are pairing this ooh, red light right along with Z-Mod's engine sounds for this truck specifically. Yep. Oh, that sounds good. It does. It really does. So, any idea what company we're headed to today? Um, uh, I, well, they might make pancakes, but I haven't fully discovered if that's where we're headed or not. Oh, it's like U-Flop or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> we're headed to U-Op. U-O-P. U-Op. Uh, <laughs> yep, U-Op. I don't know what they do, but I'm assuming it's nothing to do with pancakes. It's just this turn right here. Good lord, there is some traffic backed up. I guess I'll let those guys get rolling there. All right, boss, over the the turn and through the gate. No, not through the gate. Oh, God. <laughs> not through the That's gate. That's all right. I, I saw the gate not move, so I kind of stopped for a second. I think you'll be all right. Oh, I'm not going to make it, am I? Nope. Uh, nope. Not going to make it. Well, luckily, the trailer is not really that long, so... Don't have to worry about that. There right. we go. There you go. Just barely made it around that telephone pole. Whew. Okay. Well, you know how I said we were going to redeem ourselves? Not getting off to a good start. We haven't hit anything yet. Well, what do you mean, we? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You hit a pylon, that's, and you and you made me hit you last time. Well, All true. Right. True. Yes. All right. I'm going to pull right up here, talk to the guard, get our paperwork, and... Uh, Get us squared away, boss. All right, sounds good. I'm pulling in right behind you. But I got our paperwork. Our trailers should be getting loaded somewhere over here. I, I don't know exactly where. Okay. Did you find out what we're carrying? Yes, yes. We are hauling excavators today, actually. I think I may have found where. Yep. We're pulling, at least I'm pulling into this dock right down here. Just gonna get this pulled forward, and then they're gonna load up the uh, the excavator. Might need a little room behind me. I don't know yet. Yep. Give me just a second here. Alrighty, and we are good. All right. Looks like. Let's see here. Yep. You're all loaded up. Yep. I'm good to go. Straps down. She ain't going anywhere. Let me pull them forward here. All right. Let me scoot up behind you here. Hopefully they'll load that one as quick as they load mine as quick as they loaded yours. Oh, it didn't take them long at all. You know, I thought we were going to be getting something big, but it's just a little uh, skid steer. Yeah. That's all it is. Yep. 
All right, my man, I am ready to go. Just double checking everything. Yep, everything looks good. Let me hop back in here and crank her up. And we can get on the road. You know, these mirrors are so big, I almost can't see around them. I know, it's weird. You would think that the mirrors in a semi would feel bigger, but these feel a lot <laughs> bigger for some reason. I think it's just proportionate to like uh, your height on the road, really. I think that's the main thing. When you're in a semi, you're higher up. They, they kind of block more sky, less road. Yeah, it's yeah. they stick out. In, well, they're laid horizontal instead of vertical. That's probably yeah. the biggest thing. Well, no, mine are vertical. I got my tow mirrors up. How do you? It's in the store. You can you can change oh, well. the mirrors. Well, I've got I've got tow mirrors. I mean, I've got regular mirrors with the extensions on them. Yeah, if you read the name of it, it actually will say like horizontal or vertical. Uh, okay. Well, I screwed up there. All right. That's all right. You just let us have the conversation that you can change that. Otherwise, people would have thought that oh yeah, they're just up. Exactly. Well, there you go. Well, guys, while I'm thinking about it, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. Helps me out, helps out the channel, and special thanks to everybody who subscribed so far. We finally did it. We reached our 1,000 mark, and we're still growing. All right, Fang, we have got a right hand turn come out up here in Casper. I'm going to give the engine brake a try here. Alrighty. Or the exhaust brake, rather, on this truck. Very quiet, but pretty darn strong. Like, I, I stopped way too soon. It feels like I'm going a lot faster than I am. Oh, uh, yep, because we're, we're down closer, smaller vehicle. Mm-hmm, closer to the road. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah, every time I get in my wife's car and drive, I feel like I drive a truck. Not a big truck, but a, I am about a foot higher in the seat. Yep. And I always feel like I'm driving a go-kart when I get in her car. Yeah, oh. I know. I, um, you know, driving the, the Prius, I always had the feeling of, uh, of being on the ground. I couldn't see over anything. And uh, mm -hmm. that feeling may have changed now, but I'm not going to say why or what <clears throat> yet, yeah. yet. Yep, yep. But yeah, you, know, you guys will see. Yep, I know why, but I won't say anything. Oh, boy. Well, I got to stop. You guys, you're stopping at that one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was you a, are um... going to stop at that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, it was yellow when I started. When I got in the intersection, it was yellow. Okay? Uh-huh. It was. It was. I have a dash cam. It was yellow. I didn't even need it in this lane. Just for some reason, I thought I needed it in this lane. Turns out I was wrong. All right, finally catching up with you here. All right, we're taking a left here. Is that right? Yep. Yes, sir. Bob. All righty. Oh, hey, it's worth mentioning, too, that... Uh, now that it's been released, looks like uh, Wyoming will be the next DLC. Yes, so we uh, we've we've heard that uh, that Montana will be the next DLC. Montana, Wyoming. not Wyoming. Sorry. It will release April. No, not April. August fourth. We are. All right. A whole hold on. Mess, hold man. on. Let's try that again. So as I'm running this yellow light, uh, it's worth mentioning that Montana is the next dlc that will be released that is true and uh we know that it's gonna be april no, not april it's gonna be august 4th <laughs> <laughs> i really want this thing to release in april man <laughs> i just got a feeling about it you know uh, we'll leave that one in that's that's a good one. Oh, jeez. I'm excited for it. I can't wait until the fourth, so we can uh, we can all get in and, and have some fun trucking. I am really looking forward to that. I know we'll spend a lot of time in Montana, and I think we, maybe even we'll try to do like a uh, a community SJT trucking night of some sort. You yeah, know, just I mean, to, just it, to depending on how many people, we may have to try dabbling with uh, truckers MP, depending on what kind of you well, know turnout we I, actually might get. Just depends. I, I potentially have a mod that gives us up to 120 slots on in-game MP. Now, really? Yes. Does it work well? I have no idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, I'll stop twice at the next one. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're all good here. How are you? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How many box and, and Red Bull stickers do you have sitting on the on your truck? They, they add like five to ten. Oh, do they? Now I actually opted for no stickers this time. 
Must be your uh, your your cold air intake. That's got to be it. No, nope. you know what it is? Hmm. I waxed it before we left. More aerodynamic. Yep. Gonna get that fuel economy, man. Absolutely. I gotta say, this speed feels ridiculously fast. Doesn't it? Truck. It feels kind of like we did when we did our police chase. I feel like I am driving way too fast. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yep, I am definitely not going 65 anymore. In fact, 57 Ooh. was questionable. All right, yep, I dropped it down. I hit 45 when I just saw that curve. <laughs> I was able to get through at about 55, but it was, uh, it was something. Should I pass this guy going uphill? That seems like a bad idea. I don't know. It's in the snow. <laughs> oh, it was a bad idea. It was a bad, <laughs> bad idea. idea. It was bad a bad idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not only, not only was it a truck, <laughs> it was a cement truck. I know. Okay. We're getting onto whatever this road is. It's going to be a nice, calm 27 mile drive. <laughs> nice okay, four... guardrails on this road for us. That is too much of a, of a drop for us to drive on without guardrails. 40 mile an hour speed limit. So I would say in these trucks with this weight, we probably want to stick to it pretty close. Yeah. Also, uh, I really want someone to make a yard dog. I yeah. want a yard dog mod. Yeah, I saw that when we just now to our left there. Yep, we have a left bud. Oh. And then a right oh, bud. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. I am looking out the window, not paying attention. Yeah, I took her extra fast and wide because of that, so don't you worry. Yep. Right turn. Coming up. And the making a right turn. He's making another right turn. I'm not exactly sure why it had us take this. Oh, because we're, we're getting up over 80, not on 80? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. We're on 287. Just to what that looks like. This little road here is... Or no, we're, oh, shifti okay. we're shifting over to 287. Okay. Or maybe it is 80, I don't know. Well, I got something that says 80 here, and I got a meat wagon coming up on me. Oh, nice turn signal. <laughs> <laughs> right at the last second he hits it. Okay, bro. That's safe. Right. Appreciate it. Right, yeah, this is... This would be like a state highway, I think. Yeah. 287, yep. Yep, I uh, see her. Then... Roll that window back down for a little bit. I'm keeping the air on. Yeah? Yep. Well, it's, it's nothing more than a brisk. I don't have the temperature. But if I did, I would tell you. 96? Oh, nothing but a brisk 96. Yeah, you 90, know how it 96 is. degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, that Sinclair is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at, look at that. That's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, also I hear a train, so I'm going to look both ways before... Yep! Hi! <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet ya, 1881. Alright, Fang, we are here. And All now right. we just gotta figure out where they want them. Alright, boss, I gotta figure it out here. Okay. We're gonna put her right back behind... Them two silos off to my right. Got to back up into the area here. Yeah, but mine actually is... To see where I'm at right now? They're wanting me to park it just to my right here. Oh, is that so? Yeah, like, literally, mine is... I pulled up too far before they told me where to park it. Mine actually is just a pull-through. Ah, uh, there he goes bragging again. Yeah. I get uh -huh. it. I messed up my uh -huh. approach. All right, let me get mine, and then uh, I'll... If I can't help help you back yours in, maybe. Let's see if I can get mine lined up here. Yeah, that's a dirty old uh, skid steer. Been used, that's for sure. All right, guys, and that is going to do it for another episode of American Truck Simulator. Make sure if you enjoyed today's video, you do give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. Until next time, DT Fang, we'll see you on the next one. See ya!